Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippy. Yes, I am your host, Joe's Moore here. And if you're here watching on YouTube, don't forget you can watch this episode a week early on Spotify. Alright, now we're going to introduce everyone. We'll go ahead and start off with Stuart. Yo, how are we going? Probably won't be talking as much this week. I'm not 100%, but I'm here, and that's what matters. Yeah, there we go. Next up, we got Jesse. Uh, yes, uh, the the announcer that sometimes wins games. Also, you can listen to it on Spotify, not watch it on Spotify. Fuck you, this man. That's why no one likes you. Right. You can watch the scroll. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm going full try hard, hard mode. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm switching my lineup. <laughs> try hard mode activate. And lastly, but semi leastly, we got David. You're not wrong. <laughs> it's GS Kamikaze. Because I have a YouTube now, guys. This is the first the podcast we've done since I made a YouTube. Oh, so, dude, you should tell him your you new go. video. Dude, I have this video where there's no audio. It's really cool. Oh, dude. When did it come out? Uh, last week. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All right, yeah, and speaking of loving thing. our mothers, we're going to go ahead and talk about Kangaskhan. Why didn't we do this one for Mother's Day? Because we didn't think about it. We're not that smart. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and hindsight, we probably should have. <laughs> but um, here we go. We got Kangaskhan. Abilities, early bird, scrappy, and inner focus. Type is normal. Stats are HP 105, attack 95, defense 80, special attack 40, special defense 80, speed 90. Excuse me. Come on, man. Damn, you went through that so quick. Bruh. Actually, I had to burp the whole time. That's why they got a mute button, you <laughs> idiot. Yeah, but come on. Come anyway, on, David. Go on. What is yeah, y'all's favorite in-game moment with Angus Khan? For me, is Not when Kangaskhan it. got its Mega form, when Mega started happening, and that yeah, Mega Kangaskhan was pretty beastly, especially with its newer ability to allow it attack twice. Yeah, the parental bond was a good. Yeah. One. Maybe we'll see I a really lot like of that it's today. Mega too. Its Mega was really, really, really powerful in VGC for uh, a couple years. They had to nerf all of its abilities because of how strong it was. Yeah. That, that what he said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they nerfed the double bomb, or they like took away power up punch because it gave it two attack boosts and made it too strong, like too easily. And they <laughs> had to do something else. They made it so it did less damage on the second hit too. And it was too fast <laughs> and too furious. Yeah, too fast, <laughs> too furious. Yeah, I think at first they had it to where it would hit normal and then do half the normal damage. I think they switched the second hit to the yeah. third normal damage. I mean, it's still pretty good. I'd still take that, especially since Mega King has got 125 attack. It's got good defensive stats. It's 100 in both defense and special defense. And its speed is 100, so it's still all right. <clears throat> Only one weakness, too. With, yeah, fighting. I was about to say, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's that we do? You know, it could have buffed. Does it buff its defense when it gets to a uh, mega evolution? Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's a defense and special defense go up by twenty. So that baby is really good for defense. Use it as a shield. I'm pretty yeah. sure its HP goes up a little bit too. One hundred five HP is the same. I don't think. Uh, I, I, yeah, HP doesn't move up with any mega evolution. No. Oh yeah, you're right. That makes no sense. Don't listen to me. Special, special attack goes up though. If you wanted to use that. Yeah, my favorite uh, in-game moment was when I saw Giovanni using a Kangaskhan. So I was like, that's not a ground type. Dude, dude, Kangaskhan was arguably one of the toughest people to catch in red and blue. Like even tougher than the legendary because. The only way you could catch it is in the safari, so good luck with that. Yeah, it's... Yeah, good luck! With a low chance of uh, 
finding it and like a low chance to catch it. Like it, I no. think it would flee turn it's one. Like almost yeah. every I time. think there was a way that you could uh actually uh um like do the um Missingo uh Missing Lynch them. and you yeah, you could do that and actually if you do a certain way you could actually set it up so you could catch Pokemon from the uh Safari over in that patch where you would find Missingo. Yeah, it all depended on uh, the Pokemon stat total in your first party spot. Yeah, Red and that. blue were so busted. Oh yeah, but you gotta love the, you gotta love Gen One for that reason. He gave you so oh, much yeah. to Look do. Look how far we've come. Look how far we've come. Look yeah. at us, man. I think I think they did it on purpose because the glitches were the post game. <laughs> You're not wrong. Kangaskhan used to be like one of my favorite Pokemon too, though. Like when I was younger, it was just really cool, cool design. The reason it was kind of reminds me of that. In a way. Huh? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say it kind of looks like that dinosaur that like slams his head into each other. Mhm. Mm <laughs> is that a Rampardos? Isn't that, isn't that what that is? Yeah. Oh, that's what that is too. Rampardos yeah. is that. <clears throat> but Kangaskhan was the OG that. I know what you're saying, though. I know what you're saying. But uh, so I think I think a big reason everyone likes Kangaskhan is because of that uh, Kangaskhan episode in the anime. Yeah. Oh, the one where the kid episode. thinks he's a Kangaskhan or something. Yeah, that show. Yes. That episode was a fucking trip. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Tommy, go away. Tommy Pickles, damn it! So many uh, sexual <laughs> innuendos in that episode too. He just fell out of a helicopter. He yeah. just fell out. And that, that dude had a boomerang. It's like, where the fuck did he get a boomerang from? Dude, have you never been in the jungle? That's how it works. <laughs> uh, Australia. <laughs> you just get a boomerang. You just get a boomerang. Literally. They just hand it to you. And then that big ass... And then that big ass Mecha Kangaskhan Team Rocket used. Oh, yeah. And then in Gen 2, there was one that found an egg... That belonged to Ash. That turned into a fancy later on. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that was pretty. That was the Officer Jenny in that episode. It was a little. Didn't that Kangaskhan like lose its baby, so it got it used the egg as its baby or something? Something like that. Yep. So one of the things I want to kind of ask about and talk to you guys is. How does Kangaskhan not have a like a pre-evolved form? Because it's really weird to hatch a Kangaskhan egg with the baby already in it. It that just happens whenever a Kangaskhan has sex while it's pregnant. I mean, it's completely they're all they're all conjoined twins, all of them. It's like <laughs> oh, a fetus. Dude. Oh, so that will happen if I like if my wife's pregnant and I have sex with her, then that's gonna happen to her. Or the baby's gonna come out with a little baby. Middle into one chance, yep. but it could. <laughs> Kangaskhan only appear normally in the wild in Australia. <laughs> oh, uh, in Pokemon Go. In uh, on on Pokemon Go. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know that. That's actually cool. That's so, Stuart, have you ever world. seen a Kangaskhan in New Zealand? And well, um, not, uh, it's a different country, so no. But I do have Kangaskhan from. Being in Australia and um, stuff like that. So you frequent nice. Australia cool. to catch Kangaskhan? No, no, I don't. Um, there was an event where Dude, they were global just... as well. How do you just live on New Zealand, bro? Like that place is just so separated from everything. Isn't it great? It's right off the coast <laughs> of Australia. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. It's we don't awesome. have snakes. The most poisonous spider is like the size of my thumbnail. Like you know, it's just a, it's a good time. He's not wrong. It's like, Fuck, whole, it's like a whole new world from uh, Australia, and plus the Hobbit was filmed there. You can't film the Hobbit in Australia. <laughs> Some shit come out and beat like. the shit out of the film crew. <laughs> 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 you know, I didn't think I, I didn't. For the longest time, I didn't know New Zealand was right off the coast of Australia. I thought it was more up north. 
but uh, silly me. It's full. It's still like 2,000 kilometers away, like it's not. So at this point of the video, I want you to post a picture of the Australia and see how close it is to New Zealand and just post that right there so people will know what we're talking about. Timestamp at 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> if you flew for three hours from where you are, where would you be if you flew three hours if in I, either direction? If I flew three, I could, it's a three-hour flight from Dallas to... New Mexico, uh, Monterey, New Mexico. Right. So that's how far away we are from Australia. Damn, I leave a whole other country. Well, if I flew north, I probably wouldn't leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd probably get to like South Dakota, don't you know? How did you. Goddamn. Flight, dude. I can fly. Oh. Should we battle? Should we battle? I mean, but if y'all have nothing else to say about Kangas Khan. I owe to Texas three hours. Whoa, what happened there? It sucks. David, you okay? I wish they would make it better for singles. Huh? Mr. Robot Doll. What's wrong? You're cutting out a lot. That's what he's trying to say. Can you hear me? Yeah. Now. Is it better or should I? Better. Oh, shit. Well. We'll go ahead and they move were... on to the battles. We're not... you know? Yeah. He's back. He's back. All back right, guys. again. And also, this will be the first episode. Uh, we're not going to do uh, the team builders. Uh, it'll actually just pop up on YouTube screen whenever uh, uh, the battles commence. So if you're watching on Spotify, that gives you a reason to watch on YouTube and if you don't care about that and you're watching on YouTube, there's a reason to go watch on Spotify or listen on Spotify. Since Jesse will say something. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> but all right, let's get to the battles. All right, and now we're going to start our battles. All right, we got our two opening competitors. It's Joe Zamar Gaming starting off with the Kangaskhan, Gardevoir, Kamo'o, Scizor, Runrigus, and Infernape. And in the other corner, we got Stuart, the Stew Dog. We got Kangaskhan, Sableye, Hitmontop, Gyarados, Gengar, and Tapu Koko Koko. Ready, competitors? Like... Fight. Hell yeah. He heard everybody talking about Omniboost, so he's like, hmm, I'm going to use Omniboost. <laughs> mm, I'm no. gonna do that. All right, guys, Start if you're watching it. on YouTube, uh, you just saw the teams up on your screen. And how we built them. <clears throat> so literally, guys, just send me. A, you just go to your export thing, copy and paste, send it to me. Yeah, we got it. Oh uh, yes, sir. Uh. Okay, I want to be clear. Easy. I want to be sure. I'm not gonna do it right now, though. No, I know. I said after we're done. Yeah, I know. So good. How, how about you pick your first Pokemon, bastard? Oh, how about you just cut me some slack? Why don't you just... Oh. <laughs> just... Just chill. Just chill. Let's go. Oh, Joe, Joe, All right, so Cinderella starts for some more gaming. The Gardevoir versus Bubos, the Gengar. Is it? Is that how you say Bubos or is it Bubos? Bubos, yeah. Bubos. 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 Bubos hits a sludge wave and doesn't take out the Cinderella. Are you kidding me? Uses... You scarfed oh. that thing, you bastard... <laughs> but a side shock takes it out. Who uses and a just like that? Scarf? What? Joe is up one zero. Both scarfed. Oh my! How do you? Oh, here comes Kangaskhan Bust Pustel. Does that sound familiar? <clears throat> you want to go ahead and explain that nickname, since? Oh, in comes Tombstone, who doesn't eat that to make out with the fool. Oh, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong ability. I'm the wrong ability. I'm the wrong ability. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> you know what that sounds like, Stuart? Sounds like we should have had uh, team prep before we started. <laughs> Fuck. Look, if we, just had, if we just told was... our teams like we normally done, we would have caught that and you would have been able to fix it, man. I was ready for ghost types, too. Now I'm devastated. Uh. <clears throat> now you have nothing for ghost types, I'm assuming. Fuck. 
Oh god, this is just <laughs> devastated. I'm devastated. I'm actually devastated. What's the matter, like trainer? If you, if you win, <laughs> you should be able to switch it. If you win, you can switch it. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, fuck ghost. <laughs> I, I brought uh, the game. To- in comes Sableye for Stuart Tumines. Tumescence? Tumescence. Tumescence. God yep. damn, these Kiwi words are hard to say. Tombstone <laughs> uses Kiwi Stealth Rock. I'm pretty sure it's Latin, in fact. I don't think it's Kiwi at all. I don't know. In <laughs> comes Scissor for some more game. No! Oh, eats a will o wisp Edward eats a will o wisp That is devastating. I thought it was going to be Mega Sableye. Why? Because you've brought it before. Maybe, Maybe I just want to win. You've got freaking three. You had four different possible megas. <laughs> uh, in comes a sword <laughs> dance, and in comes a foul play. Oh my god, that takes oh, him out. Oh, that was oh, devastating. Yeah. In comes oh, Gardevoir, who has prankster from Tuminus, Tuminense, incense, Tuminense. <laughs> oh, Cinderella uses a trick, but mm, it doesn't work because Sableye is a dark type. And unfortunately, oh. Prankster doesn't work on them. Will Wisp takes down Cinderella it, just like that. Oh, it, that, 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 was a, that was a good play, though. That was a good play. It, it didn't work. I didn't know Trick didn't work. Oh, because I had oh, Prankster. You, yeah, I had Prankster. You, yeah, yeah, I even a, said that. It, it would have been. In a comes good play. Get Fist at the Infernape, and in comes Sist at the Infernape. <laughs> <laughs> Get Fist it uses a sword stance, so that takes care of a little bit of the Intimidate. And you got a fake out who makes get fisted get flinched. Another swords dance. A close combat. <clears throat> In comes Gyarados of Ves- Ves- Vessel. Vesicle. Vesicle. It's a fire punch. <laughs> Vesicle? And in uh-huh. comes Hitmontop the Sist again, trying to bring down that attack to a more reasonable amount. Green Sist Ooh. down to about a half, and from the Rocky Helmet from Hitmontop, Infernape's down to about 12%. And he's going for that Dynamax because he's not. Oh. oh, a mock oh. punch. He was expecting a fake out, I think. I and was. he takes oh out my God. that Hitmontop with the Max Knuckle. What a ballsy move. That paid off for him. Why didn't? Oh, are you? Sp- no. Huh. Why didn't Rocky <laughs> Helmet work there? Because he demaxed. Does that? I guess demax are not considered physical, like actual hit-on attacks. Oh well, that's get that's fisted. <laughs> get fisted. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. And um, out comes Pustel, the Kangaskhan. Ah, and we got our double one. He uses trying to use a fake out, but get this. It uses a max guard. Well, this is just a bad time. You know how it is. <laughs> you know how it is a bad time. You know it's a bad time. Oh, it comes Sableye, Tuminance, Tuminance, and it's a good play <clears throat> as that Max Knuckle does nothing. I had a feeling I shouldn't have pushed Max Knuckle. <sighs> You're gonna die, clown! Right now we're four to four. So Joe has already used his Dynamax, so that's the only advantage Stu Dog has. Alright, but... calm the fuck down. Alright, talk about what I use. But Joe is in slightly <laughs> better health-wise. In comes a Viscule. Eats that Ooh. fire punch, still takes about a quarter of its, a little over a quarter of its health. It's down to 25%. Gyarados doesn't get awkward yet, does it? It would be pretty OP. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think so. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, he's going for the Dynamax. Oh, in a close combat. Oh, 
He was anticipating a different punch. switch. I expected a switch. Yeah, I expected you a switch. And... I don't know why he, he didn't lost. click punch, to be honest. Oh, here didn't... comes Kangaskhan. Because I didn't need to. Fuck them my kids. Only, my only chance was that it was, um, that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> That was actually a pretty good move by Stu. He, he took a chance. I feel like that was a pretty good call. In comes the Mega, and double fake out does not work. And we got another turn for Gyarados. Don't forget about them kids. Fuck. <laughs> ah, and he's going to switch out. And in comes Tuminance and Sucker Punch. That was a... God damn, boy! Good play, but um, I mean... Uh -oh. Gyarados doesn't, if Gyarados doesn't have a certain item, which I don't think he is, he's dead anyway. So we get a Will-O-Wisp out of Tuminens, who burns down the Tombstone, the Runerigus, that comes in. It's been a good match so far. It's been very back and forth. It's not really one-sided compared to our next match. In comes a foul play. <laughs> <laughs> and out comes Toxic Spikes from Runerigus. Table Lion's been doing some pretty heavy work this round. Another Toxic Spikes, and another Foul Play, and Tombstone, the Rungrigus, is down to 4% health. And he uses another Toxic Spikes, okay. And Foul Play <laughs> finishes him off. <clears throat> and can come to Kamo, the Angry Sore. I don't know. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> foul play is a good move on on Sableye because <clears throat> it doesn't go off as a bait. It doesn't go off his attack set. It goes off yours. Yes, right. That is how it something works. like a sword. I don't think it gets affected by burn, does it? By what? By what? Does foul play get affected by burn? Like if the no, opponent the is base, burned? It's, no. it's the base attack stat. That, that's why the foul play O code the scissor because. Even though it was burned, it had done sword stance, so it was... Okay, that's what I was thinking, because I'm like, yeah. that's really Garrett smart. Know, so. <coughs> what what is this Trump do here? now, bitch? What, what, Joe here? is slightly in the corner. He's down Pokemon. Uh, he no, switches out to Furious, his Tapu Koko. he's got it. Oh, and a good he's call as he tried no. to use Klingon Scales. I pushed the Push wrong the... move! Oh my god. Granted, they look the lost. same. <laughs> Granted, they look the same. Oh. There goes my corner. Uh, in comes Manga Kangaskhan. Fuck them kids. And we got a Giga Gigavolt oh, Havoc right. that takes it out. Oh, I forgot he moves. Yeah, I didn't. I, I'm stupid. Oh, I fuck. Can... Where did my corner go? <clears throat> in comes Angry Star. Joe's last hope. Uh, in comes a Brave Bird that takes a lot out of both of them. And he uses a Clinger of Soul again. I don't know why. Clinger of Soul, not because... Clinger of Skills. I... They're right next to each other. I fucked up. But Brave Bird <laughs> takes him out, and that's game. GG, brother. GG. That's what I get for getting arrogant and being like, oh, I won this. Just gotta click a move. Pretty close, and then the momentum went towards Stoots. All because of a misclick. Don't forget to read the full move, guys. Don't forget to read the full move. All right, but now we got uh, GS Gold versus GS Kamikaze. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I might have had enough sex anyway. <clears throat> I think. Nah, it, it, the shirt. I had I had throat spray, finger soul. Yeah, so I would have. You would have taken out whatever was in front of you, and then I would have sent him Sableye, burnt you, and then I, you would have I, killed him, and I, then was, I would have... I was special. So, uh, doesn't matter. It'll it still take the damage, and then I'd, then I'd fake you out, and then I'd switch in, and then I'd switch in King's Cut again and fake you out again. And then it, I would have swept. You want to do it? You want to redo it to show that I would have no, no, swept? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, I, I think I had enough stacks. You know what? Record it. Fuck you, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking pussy. Alright, <laughs> now we got GS Kamikaze versus GS Gold. 
We got David in the left corner with Kangaskhan, Tapu Fini, Rillaboom, Dracozolt, Garchomp, Tyranitar. And then we have Jesse in the other corner with Mudgedell, Kangaskhan, Kumfei, Typhlosion, Torkoal, and Keldeo. I want to just take a notice of the two teams, how one is literally a p copy and paste of OU, and the other one actually has some creativity to it. Uh, this is not a copy and paste of OU. You're, you're crazy. Yes, it is. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and get <laughs> this <laughs> started. <laughs> I'm impressed you brought up um, focus Mudsdale. That's exciting. I'm shocked David brought Rillaboom. Like, he never uses that thing. Dude, oh. Yeah, and this must be a special occasion. <clears throat> All right, we got horse number two versus Daddy Big Cock. Tyranitar. <laughs> oh, 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 and oh. Tapu Pee, Pee comes in versus horse number two as horse number two flip turns. And Healing Tee Hee comes in for horse number two. <laughs> Healing T he, what is it gonna do here? Four turns of Mystic Terrain, stupid, four turns of Sandstorm. Stupid triage. Stupid comfy. And Monker comes in versus the healing T he. And it goes for Z Celebrate! Oh shit. It is omni boosted here. Can Monker. Oh god, do I, still anything to this thing? I still think it does. I still think it does. I still think it does. You underestimate <laughs> the bulkiness of comfy. Really? I just feel like it does. Oh, 50%. There you go. Calm. Mine comes yeah. off versus Monkey. And Monkey, we went for that grassy glide and knocked it down to 40%. But triage is in effect. Gets a critical hit oh, on the crit. Monkey. A crit? And grassy glide brings healing Tiki back to 30, uh, 30, 42%. <laughs> Thanks to the grassy turn. Draining Kiss gets That's his more. health back from That's more what I expected. Monkey. And Healing Tihi is in position to knock out Monkey on the next turn. Oh god. Omni Boost Calm Mind is not looking good for the Monkey here. He's just monkeying around. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. look at this little beach. <clears throat> Fill your bingo slot there. Max Overgrowth goes into Healing <laughs> Tihi and knocks out Comfey. <laughs> Comfey so shit. Fuck Comfey. That was great. <laughs> I hate that for a piece of shit. Do yeah. I float comes in great. for Comfey against Monkey, and Monkey is looking to go for something against this thing. Oh, you have the wrong move. Or the wrong ability. I sure do. He has the white smoke, correct? Do I, I sure float do. goes for. <laughs> Stealth Rock as Big Daddy Big Cock comes in. You're um, echoing now, Joe, for some reason. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'll talk too loud. Uh, do I float goes for the belly drum as Big Daddy uh, Daddy Big Cock goes for Stone Hell, Stone Edge, Stone Stone Stealth Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost the ability to speak. Do I float goes for Rapid Spin? And um, you know, now it's funny. It's it's what? The body press, not, um, not belly drum. <laughs> I said be body press. I think you said belly drum the first time. <clears throat> oh, no, no. <laughs> Tapu Pee is in, gets the calm mind off against Do I Float, and uh, he switches into Not the Mama, and goes for the fake out on Tapu Pee Pee. Tapu Pee Pee is flinched. Not the Mama. Is going for the body slam. Gets a critical oh, hit the on the first hit. Going for the power. As Tapu oh. Pee Pee goes uh, for the thing. I don't think you can get paired right now under Misty Train. Oh, that's true. Tapu Pee Pee is it's plus two and everything, but uh, could not do anything with it. Not the mama said, fuck them kids. Ooh, this is a close match. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's now five to five. Daddy Big Cock is at thirteen percent after the rock damage after that body press earlier, and not the mama's like power up punch. Just kidding. It doesn't get that anymore. Draco's ult comes in now, which is interesting, as uh, not the mama goes for drain punch. So BBC is in. Shiny Drake result here. <laughs> we know what that means. 
British something news thing. It goes through the bolt beacon. Fifth leg comes in the Mudsdale Bruh. and is immune to it. And now David is pissed because it is a scarf Drake is old. It is not. <laughs> it's a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually not. It wasn't life or, or you know, could have been. <clears throat> David has wasted his Dynamax, so what do we do here? <laughs> Fuck me. Kangaskhan, Thought Mama Oof. comes in for Oof. David. Oof. As fifth Oof. play goes for Body Press. Oof. Body Press all day for GS Gold. He hits the gym. All his mons got Body Press so far. As Pretty much. Shark, shark and the douche. Oh, oh, I, feel, I feel like that's a target. <laughs> and it's a mega shark Nadouche that goes for a swords dance and Ooh. takes an earthquake from fifth leg. David goes jumping a lake with cement shoes on. As he goes for a skull shot here, oh God. stamina boost <laughs> on fifth leg. Oh God, I didn't know Shark, this. Shark Nadouche is faster, but oh, oh boosted his body press and is dead now. Jesse Shark laughing Nado maniacally. Oh. Shark Nado oh. Rudy. Monker comes in as uh, Mudsdale is sitting at 70% with plus two defense. Can it live a grassy glide? It does yeah. tremendously. And gets a defense boost. Body press on Monkey, and he goes down. Looks like what Mike Shell is going to be a problem. Let the same kill. Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, are you are you seeing the same thing that I'm seeing? Do you see what's what's wrong with the rest of your team? Stop, Mama comes in, and a ghost with a fire punch. My team, and fifth leg goes for rest, and it is resto oh. chesto. This Resto's match chesto. is over. All right, fire punch again in the fifth <laughs> leg, boosting his God defense damn. even more, and body press is just going to demolish David's team from here. Uh, I guess those two weeks off have been an issue as Daddy Big Cox comes in on rocks and goes down. <laughs> BBC comes in as the last Mon. What will it do to fifth leg at almost full defense? Goes for the outrage and tickles it. Oh, away. wow. Well, Stamina gets like, all the way up and Body Press. It is the perfect finishing move. <laughs> body Press wins <laughs> Jesse the match as he laughs like oh, a maniacal genius. All right, so that means we move on to the final match. Uh, Stuart oh, wow, versus surprise. Jesse coming up. <laughs> coming, to be, <laughs> coming to be a very watch, norm here. Watch come play, um, watch come play, sweet me. Because I trash talked it. That's how it works, you know. That's how the yeah, world works. Know. <clears throat> Say something nice to it. Maybe it'll even out. Nah, it's still shit. Oh shit. Even if it, <laughs> all, even if it annihilates me right now, it's still shit. All right. Well, here we go. We got GS Gold versus Stu Dog. Y'all already know the teams, so let's get at it. Ooh. Can I get a Hanya? Hanya. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Alright, we got something we didn't get to see last battle. Blazing Inchida Inchidna versus Powerless. Echidna. It's like a uh Oh a porcupine kidna. thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Um so we got Typhlosion. Is he, is he, I was gonna say, is he scarfed eruption? Yeah he is. Uh, he is, <laughs> and yeah. Tapu Koko is it gone. Is. It is what it is. What was... Oh, now see. <laughs> <laughs> what will Stu what do Dog do? go to now? I mean, you can go to uh, uh, Gyarados and Max. I mean, I don't know, man. You could double fake out it and then go to Gyarados. No, what you want from me? Hustle goes in and goes for the fake out at fifth leg, switches in and gets that defense boost. Oh, plus two defense thanks to the parental bond. Attacking it two times. 
And Je I can hear Jesse snickering now. Nah, Stewart actually has a better team against us, so. though. With the two ghost types and all. Hmm. I just gotta figure out who he's gonna bring in. What's the matter, trainer? I mean, Earthquake does pretty much anything to anyone, unless he brings in Gyarados. Uh huh. Which then you're fucked. Shut up, Joe. I don't know if that helped you or hurt you, Stuart. Uh, I know, I'm just sad about my sack turn one. Oh, Seismic Toss boosted his defense again two times as Fifth Lay goes for the body press Ooh. and makes Fuel Skull a uh, pile of shit. And, well, uh, that was unexpected. Oh, he knew he sacked it off on purpose. On Poipus. And just a heads up, Stuart, I don't think burn affects body press. I it doesn't. What's your point? <laughs> just in case you're gonna go for the willow whisker. Bro, I'm a ghost type, what does it matter? <laughs> oh true. I mean he can still switch his move. Uh. <laughs> Stop coaching. <laughs> This is how he won last time, okay? Shut up. Something amazing, I guess. <laughs> Blazing Inchita, Inchita, whatever the fuck you said earlier. Comes in against... <laughs> Inchita. <laughs> Goes in against the Vesicle, the Gyarados. Ooh, okay. So we got a Scarf Typhlosion in front of Vesicle, but it switches out to not the Mama. As Vesco goes for a Dragon Dance, anticipating the switch. What will not the mama do here? What will Gyarados do here? Find out right now on Pokédip. <laughs> Alright, uh, I know what he might do, but what is he going to do with it? Hmm. Calm down, Stuart. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> oh god. Uh, uh, uh. I still feel like it could be a 6 out here. I'm a little bit concerned. We'll see. Nah. He's got Scarf, not the Mama Thunder Punch. <laughs> yep, damn, he got my. <laughs> thunder Punch! Hmm. I don't know, I feel like uh, I had to sack Kangaskhan there just to get the damage off on that stupid monster or it was going to be GG. Okay, let's see if I'm right. Ooh, oh, okay. you weren't right. Max Geyser goes off and not the mama goes for a witch. Vesco witch. is sitting there <laughs> under rain, plus one speed in attack, Dynamax, ready to hit something right here, right now. At least you don't have to worry about switching on Sucker Punch, fucker. Alright, Keldeo comes in, horse number two. Uh, takes, does Ooh. not take a Max Geyser. Critical hit! Well, I'll it took it, it but I'll not take, very I'll... well. Sorry for the crit there. Stuart what did, apologizes. I don't know for it. Jesse not Modesty? I, I don't know how much it would have... I don't know how much it would have taken anyway. Why is this not Moxie? <clears throat> He has Dragon Dance. You don't it? need it. Yeah, you do. You definitely need it. Fake Out goes into Dynamax. And uh, Max Geyser takes out Not the Mama. Because Dynamax can't flinch. Jesse still has his Dynamax, though. Fuck. So let's see what he decides to go to here. Very defensive Mons, but both weak to water. But a comfy Stuart talk shit two earlier that can possibly sweep him, he said. Stupid comfy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Will Jesse's reign of being champion the last few weeks be over? Will Stuart regain the crown? We'll find out right now on Pokey Dippies. Right now on Pokey Dippies. I said, hurry the fuck up, guys. Go. Do I have Sun man. Man. man? If only I had Sun. Mm. Why, did Why didn't you fix it? Because he didn't fix his, so I'm not fixing mine. Well, do I float is in against vegetable. Ah, oh, Torco, do you do you, do you like this? Do you like this? This is a good time for you. Do you reckon? Stewart is counting. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit the button. Oh, do I oh, float no. goes for stealth rocks as vegetable <clears throat> goes dragon dance. I don't think anything could live ahead now. Um, Vespel is sitting there at plus two attack and plus two speed as do I float got its beautiful rocks up. Yeah. It got its rocks off. <laughs> and Vespel is getting greedy oh going for God. another dragon dance. This is greedy. Do I float greedy. went for body press and it did a little bit of damage. Now it's Dynamax! And uh, Veskul goes for Earthquake. Max Flare goes off against Veskul. Does it 14%. And do I float? It's still Dynamax here. As Veskul goes for another Dragon Dance. As do I float goes for a Max Strike to lower that speed by one. But not the attack. Veskul goes Whoa. for another Earthquake. Do I float lives it. And it is... Oh, it's in, might be in range of a triage attack. But do I float is going to go down here. Oh, I think I got one, two greedy there. That's all right. We'll be right. We'll be right. All right. We'll make it work, is though. in front of healing T. And let's see if uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesse goes for that Omni Boost again. Oh, it goes oh. for the Giga Drain, but it did not kill. Waterfall takes it oh, down to 28%. Yeah. Healing T He should have got greedy instead. Goes for Giga Drain, takes down Viscal, and Healing T He is at 31%. What was your fourth move? Hey. For... I had uh, wa Waterfall, Power Whip, Earthquake. Oh, Power Whip, gotcha. His fourth move was Fuck Bitches Make Money. Ew. <laughs> How did you know? Gang, gang. That would have been my fourth move on a gear, dude. Whew, that was tough, man. I was. <laughs> All right, bubble. Dude, I did not like that. Against healing. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh... first time you didn't talk shit during the battle. Giga Drain goes off into Bubos, and Sludge Wave comes off and knocks that thing down. <sighs> Bubos versus uh, Blazing Echida and whatever. Echidna. Uh, Echidna. <laughs> <laughs> and they are both Scarf. Who will, out, who will get the outspeed here? Oh, I don't know what to do here. Fuck bitches make money. I, that's all you can do. Who do I say? Nobody. What do you think? Stuart, calm down for a minute. <clears throat> I hate the, the stupid horse in the back. It's gonna kill me. Yeah. Uh... What are you worried about? Your ghost type. Oh God. That's all the hints <laughs> I'm giving you for this battle. If you if you if you don't get it, then no luck. Blazing Echidna versus Bubos. If he switches here, he's gonna take out something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> this is all on you, buddy. It's so funny because he's still going to win this, but he's like, I don't know. I don't know. There's been several matches I... where he's had a lead like this, and he. No, he royally he fucked up. He fucking wins it, he man. He royally fucked up. Gone. Gone. He just be gone. Think... He just threw the game right there. Can you tell me how I threw it? 
because I don't think I could beat him. You would have outsped with Gengar because your scarf, it would have lowered his eruption yeah, attack. You would have lived it. You would have took out that thing. And then you could have... Yeah, you yeah you're right. You I would have. You could have played out the rest of the <laughs> battle with Sableye versus the horse. Yeah, you're right. You're 100%, you're 100% dead correct. <laughs> 100%. I mean, you could possibly still do it, but I don't know. Now that Jesse knows. Uh, damn, it sounds like people are rooting against my man <laughs> over here. Shadow Ball off against Blazing Ichida. And Bubo oh. lives on four HP. Oh, did not think it was going to live after Rocks, but it did. My force, my force but if doing the job. Mudsdale gets the Shadow Ball oh, off no. on fifth leg, and now Typhlosion is going to have to take another Shadow Ball, which is going to knock it down a peg. And Stu Dog will oh, oh, man, bring it back. Oh, my God. I didn't think I had it. I totally forgot about the eruption damage, but um, that, that worked out well. If he wasn't Scarfed, you would have lost. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I knew that earlier on. That's why I didn't bring him out. <laughs> But all right, great GG. Game. Uh, Stewart. GG, oh, man. That was great game, bro. That was great. <laughs> what is the mon you're going to want to uh, do after we do Machap next week? Well, it's funny because I was thinking about it. Well, you picked I was Machap. thinking about it, right? I know. I was like, what mons haven't we done? Pidgeot. And I was like, oh. yeah, yeah. So I was just thinking. And then I was like, we need to do something random. And I want to do Tauros. Alright. Okay. Tauros. Okay. Tauros. Is that alright? Yeah. You guys good with that? Yeah. Love Tauros. Well, okay, I'm going to bring my special yeah. Tauros. I thought you were going to be like, I'm going to go with the Gen 2 just to be random. But no, okay, Tauros. Okay, okay. <laughs> I pick for Alligator. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alright, guys. Thank you for enjoying Pokey Dippies this week. And next week, we will be doing Machamp. And the following week, we will be doing Tauros. Awesome.